Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a close look at how the clutch system in a manual transmission actually works. We'll break down each part, including the flywheel, clutch cover, release lever, throwout bearing, and pressure plate, and how they all work together with the clutch disc to make smooth shifting possible. Let's dive in. To understand how this system works, it's helpful to think of the clutch assembly in two main parts. First, we have the flywheel, clutch cover, release levers, and pressure plate, which all spin together as a single unit. The second part involves the transmission input shaft and clutch disc, which are splined together and turn as one unit when engaged. Now, let's break down what's happening when your vehicle is standing still. The only time the clutch disc will spin with the flywheel and pressure plate is when it's firmly pinched between these two components. This pinching action is what transfers engine power to the transmission. But what happens when you press the clutch pedal? Pressing the pedal causes a throwout bearing is forced against the fingers of the pressure plate. When this happens, the clutch disc is no longer pinched between the flywheel and pressure plate. This is where it gets interesting. When the release levers pull the pressure plate back, the clutch disc stays still while the flywheel, clutch cover, and pressure plate keeps spinning. This stops the power flow from the edge of the transmission, letting you safely shift gears. When you release the clutch pedal, the pressure plate moves back toward the flywheel, pinching the clutch disc once again. This forces the clutch disc to spin which turns the transmission input shaft and effectively re-engages the engine's power with the transmission. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown of the clutch system helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.